Hello. In this video, I will be installing, I've already installed, I should say, Mod Organizer. I just installed a new one in a different location, just my other hard drive. I'll show you how to install CBBE Body Slide 2, Remodeled Armor for CBBE Body Slide 2, HTT Physics, Realistic Force, which is a requirement for the XPMS Skeleton, and then I'll also install FNIS Behavior and FINS Creature Pack. And I'll show you how to generate both the FNIS behaviors as well as the outfits. So here's a, a fresh install of Mod Organizer. I already have SKSE, as you can see. So first thing I'll do is install CBBE. And these options don't really matter too much when you're i uh, going to be using body slide because it'll change them to whatever form you want. So I just usually install the face pack. I leave the rest of these blank. Get the ultra textures and whatever your preference is here. Now I'll install body slide. Uh, you want to choose uh, the CBBE data as well as the race morph if you have race menu I should say I do but I suppose I don't in this install so I won't use it and then I will install the armors which will take a little bit it's quite a big mod I'll just use the replacer and I'll add in that. I apologize for all the waiting. I've never really made much of these videos, so I'm quite poor at doing some video editing, so I'm just going to do this in one long uh, video. All right, now I'm going to put in FNIS behavior, which is the first one you want to do. And then you'll set the data directory here. And then I'll also want to do the creature pack. Now we'll add the realistic force. And then we'll add the skeleton files here. And then I don't have any of these, so I'll leave that alone. Most of these are buggy from what he says, so I just leave everything pretty much how it is. And you don't want to add these at all if you're going to use HTT, which we are, so just leave it there. Now we'll install the HTT physics. All right, so all the mods are now added into Mod Organizer, so the, we'll activate CBBE. Body slide, remodel armor. We'll do both the FNAS behavior and creature pack, realistic force, the maximum skeleton, and then we'll do physics. You want the skeleton pretty late in the load order. You do not want anything to be overriding this, so you'll just run into lots of issues later on. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll run uh, FNIS. So you want to come to the data here and scroll down until you find your tools. And then we'll go to the users, and then the EXE's raid in here. 
and then we'll just add that as executable. And then we'll, while we're here, we'll also do that for the CBBE, which is under Caliente Tools. Not Caliente. We'll add bodyslide.exe as another executable. Okay, so then we'll go to generate FNIS. We'll click Run. Now you get this. If you're using a custom skeleton, which we are here, the XP32, you'll want to make sure you click the arm fix, and these other mods are if you have other skeleton modifying uh, add-ons. We'll update that. If, it, if your skeleton right here doesn't say this or something similar to this, your skeleton is getting overwritten and it's not going to work. So you'll have to wait for the success, click exit, no. And then it should put these files on the overwrite. Your tools, the scripts, and a meshes folder. So what we'll do here is we'll just right click overwrite, create mod. I just usually write this as FNIS updates. And we we'll want to make sure we activate that. Next for the body slide, you'll want to run this now. Oh, I should have, yeah. Okay, now this is, I usually have lots of issues with this program myself, so this is why I'm doing this video, to help some other people out. So you can either choose a preset from here, or you can just do your own. Oh no, this is the body, sorry. Uh, you want to go down to CBBE, body HDT. This is the one we want to use right here. This is the presets. This is what like the sliders are actually at. And you'll want to either choose one here or make your own with the sliders down there. I'll just choose, uh, uh, sure, I'll do this one. It's not a bad one. And then when you're using body slide and uh, the remodeled armor, if you go to batch build, you should have quite a selection of armors here because um, the modder for that remodeled armor did them all themselves already. So if you don't have a, like a, a quite a large list here, you, uh, you need to reinstall the armors or the body slide because it's not reading the things. But anyway, since we're in Mod Organizer, this is where the main issue comes from. If you batch build it, it won't put it in the right spot. So you'll have to hold control, click batch build, select all the armors you want to build these sliders for, click build, and then you'll want to go to your Mod Organizer folder, which I made it in my D drive right here. And then you'll want to find your overwrite folder in the mod organizer. You'll select the folder, and then it will start building. Uh, this is how you have to do it every time. If you do a body change, you have to batch build it to the overwrite folder. You can batch build it directly into an, uh, the mod afterwards, but I find it easier to do it this way. All right, you should get a successful message. If you don't, that usually means uh, you need to be running this as administrator as well as mod organizer, and it means uh, that mod organizer isn't picking up like the remodeled armor. So that should be batch built. That should be successful. And then this build button is only for the current body. Like if you want to do an armor individually, you'll have to go up here. But I just do a batch build. It's just a lot easier. You'll close this. Then now in your overwrite folder, you should have a meshes folder with all the the armors that have proper uh, slider sliders. And we'll also create a mod here. I usually call it body slide presets. And then we'll check that. Then we'll run back to SKSE. So what want me to do? Oh, whatever. And then that's easy. That's generally how you do it, right there. So, I've run into mostly problems where your skeleton gets overwritten or body slide doesn't build to the right spot. That's why I do the the hold con holding control to build it to the overwrite folder directly, which is this. And whenever you add another armor mod that is compatible with body slide, you just add it right to mod organizer. Uh, check it in. And then you'll just run body slide exactly the same way. I do a rebuild of everything all the time. You don't have to, but I find it easier to do so. Anyways, that's my 
little video here.